Thursday, different than Wednesday, Saturday, Saturday, sacred space, metaphorically take off your shoes, raise up, look for that highest, most noble part of yourself. That's where we're, we want to be in that place in morning meeting. I want to say first, just a couple quick announcements before I introduce our guest speaker, that happy new year to all the Jewish students, staff, and faculty here at the Rosh Hashanah. And uh, there will be a bus going with, at 11 o'clock, right out in the headmaster's circle, if you don't know that already, which you probably do know, leaving for the Temple of B'nai Israel in Southbury and returning at 1 o'clock, leaving the Temple at 1 o'clock. So, and you'll get out of here in time for that. Also, I was just rereading, good, good nighttime reading, the portrait of a graduate the other night. And two, two parts of it, in, ver- in the very beginning, st- stood out that we are called not to be served as staff students, we know this, but to serve. And the second bullet point was, we're called to be morally thoughtful students. But I was thinking implicit in that, underneath the unwritten, is that we're called to engage the world, to break the TAF bubble, to get out of our myopic, insular ways of being, which happens naturally, to look out on the broader world at some of the significant problems and find creative, intelligent, compassionate ways to address those issues so to break the bubble and come out and be and engage the world and work so we can work toward building a more just more sustainable a more equitable a more compassionate world that's what we want to do so with that we're going to look at a really important issue that a lot of you don't know much about today it's human slavery human trafficking and human slavery and i want to introduce our guest speaker now quickly Uh, mr greg helvey is a student academy award winner he has traveled the world to film in countries such as El Salvador, China, Kenya, and England on projects ranging from National Geographic and BBC documentaries to independent fictional films. As a filmmaker, Mr. Helvey seeks to combine his passion for social justice with powerful storytelling. Mr. Helvey wrote and directed and produced a film called Kavi, the winning film of the 2009 Student Academy Award gold medal in the narrative category. He also was nominated for a, an Oscar as well. Kavi was filmed entirely on location in India and tells the story of a young boy who wants to play cricket and go to school, but instead he is forced to work in a brick kiln as a modern-day slave. Mr. Helvey's other award-winning works include the documentary Overexposed, which examines how pornography affects men. Dr. Drew, Adam Carolla, and other cultural pundits comment on the issue as the cameras follow two men trying to navigate the rocky road of love sex, and intimacy in the age of virtual fantasies. Dr. Mr. Helvey also received his MFA degree in film production from the University of Southern California, a place that some of you want to go to and study film, um, in cinematic arts, and his BA in English and French from the University of Virginia, another place that some of you want to go to. He's also taught in boarding school, a boarding school in England, and a uh, very fascinating guy. I want to welcome Mr. Greg Helvey. Thanks, everybody. It's great to be here. Um, The film you're about to see is my graduate thesis film from USC. And it took a while before I actually got to that place. Um, As Mr. Gnung mentioned, I went to UVA. Then I went overseas to teach at a boarding school in England for about three years. And then I realized that I finally realized that I just need to go to film school. So this was the graduate thesis film I did. It's 17 minutes long but it took about two and a half years to make. And I didn't know how I was going to make it, Uh, but I was passionate about this issue of modern day slavery. And it was about 10 years ago that I learned that slavery still exists and I had no idea. Can I just have a show of hands of how many people realize that slavery still exists today? Great. Now, of you who raised your hands, how many of you know that there's more slavery today than ever before, and it's the fastest growing uh, criminal enterprise even ahead of the uh, arms trade. It's only second to the drug trade. Can I have a show of hands? Okay. Well, I didn't even know that it existed uh, 10 years ago, and uh, I was shocked to learn that there's 27 million slaves today, and I just wanted to tell people 
And so that's part of what my motivation was in making this film. I wanted to get the word out. I wanted to raise awareness. But I also wanted to tell a powerful story and take the audience on a journey. Like I said, I didn't know how I was going to do that, but I didn't let it get me down. I didn't let that discourage me. And the other thing was that it was a very frightening process. Uh, going overseas, making a film in a country and culture that's not my own, not knowing the language. And it was kind of like walking in the dark, just one step at a time. And what I hope that encourages, uh, I hope that that encourages you in a way to not let the how-to um, bog you down if you have a great idea, letting the how-to be secondary to your great idea, to your great passion for what you want to do, and be willing to scare yourself. Because if you're not scared, chances are um, you're selling yourself short, and you're selling the world short in terms of what they can uh, receive from the gifts that you have and the talents that you have. So, like I said, I had no idea that slavery existed, and a lot of times people knock this idea of just raising awareness, but it was someone else telling me that slavery existed that really got the wheels spinning in my life to tell everyone and use my gifts to raise other people, so, or to raise awareness among other people. So really, this film is the result of raising awareness, and I hope that I can challenge you to Think about what your gifts and passions are so that you can put those to use and serving an issue that's bigger than yourself, um, an issue that might leave the world and your community, leave it, uh, leave it a better place than you found it. So uh, I will be around for the rest of the day. Um, if you have any questions, if you want to talk more uh, about the filmmaking process, about this issue, about what you can do, uh, please see me. You'll see some postcards around. Um, there's more information on those and some email sign-up sheets if you uh, want to learn more about uh, this issue in this film. Um, if you are interested in raising awareness, we'll have DVDs available uh, outside the cafeteria during lunch. Um, I'd really encourage you to get one of those and hold your own screening with friends and family um, or even do a fundraising thing that supports uh, an anti-slavery organization whose work you admire. So I hope you enjoy the film. Uh, thanks for having me, and um, that's it. Um, so uh, I just wanted to share with you a couple things that I'm really excited about. It, it's um, only a second here, but um, you know, getting the awards and the Oscar nomination, everything like that was great, and it's been a great start to life after film school. But one of the things that I'm really excited about, one of the concrete results, is that we've been able to partner with an uh, anti-slavery organization called International Justice Mission, who is uh, using the film to raise awareness. They've translated it into three more Indian languages, and they're screening it this year uh, for 10,000 school children, law enforcement, and local governments all across southern India. And they sent me this photograph of these kids in a classroom in India watching the film, and they said that there wasn't a dry eye in the class, that even the young boys were, were in tears. And it just, you know, it doesn't get any better than that when you get to see something that you've poured your heart into um, have results like that and to create a heart connection to this issue because often it's just statistics for people. Um, but it's so rewarding when you get to see even one person affected by that. And I just would really encourage you with the incredible opportunities that you have, with this great education that you're getting, um, with your time and resources and talents, to really think about how you can um, make a difference uh, because when you get to see the, f the fruits of, of your labor, it, it, it just pushes you to go even further. And at the end of the day, um, the more that we can love others and serve others, uh, I think the more rewarding and the sweeter life is for us. So thanks again for uh, allowing me to come and screen the film and um, speak to you. Have a great day.